So uh, this individual jumped off his snowmobile, captured the injured wolf, and he wrapped duct tape around its snout. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the homestead, the mud puddle. Beautiful morning. You can see the blue sky behind me. Uh, predicted highs mid 60s. A little windy. Just a beautiful morning. I'm doing a little walkabout, guys. There are certain parts of this property that I don't, I don't spend too much time in. So every once in a while, I make my rounds. I walk the perimeter of the property and just to check on things, just to see if there's anything out of the ordinary. And that's what I'm doing this morning. Just walking the entire property, zigzagging along. Like I said, walking the perimeter. Just to see if I see anything that's not right, if that makes any sense. Anyway, folks, welcome back to the channel. I am getting closer and closer to my goal of 1,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate all of you out there who have subscribed. If you happen to be on YouTube and you run across this channel, please consider subscribing. We have been off the grid for almost three years. This September will be three years in Northern Arizona. We are loving this, guys. So thank you again to everybody out there. <clears throat> Today, guys, I wanted to talk about a story that I read about a few days ago. Many of you probably have heard of this already. I'm talking about the individual in Wyoming who either accidentally ran into a wolf on his snowmobile or he purposely chased it down and ran over it. Either way, uh, he injured this wolf. And from what, from what I've read, it was a yearling, a young wolf. He injured it. This individual jumped off his snowmobile, captured the injured wolf and he wrapped duct tape around its snout and he drove it into town to one of the bars. And he showed it off to everybody, guys. He paraded this wolf around, showed it off to everybody. Here's a photo of it, guys. A little disturbing as far as I'm concerned. You know, you can see this wolf. You can see the fear in his eyes. He's obviously injured. Uh, he has a snout wrapped up in duct tape. And after a little while, this individual took this wolf outside shot it in the head and killed it. Apparently this part of Wyoming, this particular zone, the hunting of wolves is allowed, even without a permit. And in the end he was charged, or I'm sorry, he was fined $250. I'm not sure what the fine was for. I didn't want to look into it anymore. I was a little upset about this photograph that I saw. And it's got a lot of folks upset as well, guys. So I wanted your take on it. What do you think of this, guys? What do you think of the story? After he paraded this wolf around, this bar, he took it outside, as I said, shot it in the head and killed it. $250 fine. Not sure what it was for, but it was not for cruelty uh, of animals. Animal cruelty. Apparently, in order to be charged with animal cruelty, it has to be a domesticated animal. You know, a dog, a cat, that sort of thing. And I didn't bother to see what the fine was about, guys. Like I said, I really wasn't too interested in the story once I saw this photograph. So I want your take, guys. How do you feel about this? I know there's a lot of hunters out there. I know a few hunters, and all of them, folks, every hunter that I know of, has a passion for wildlife, uh, conservation, that sort of thing, you know, respect for the outdoors. But apparently, from what I've seen and read about this story, uh, this individual is not one of those guys, not one of those hunters. So a lot of folks are upset, guys. So what do you think, guys? Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think about this story and how you feel about it. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. And again, I understand the hunting of wolves. I'm sure there's other states that allow it as well. 
Uh, there are ranchers and farmers that don't like these wolves around, you know, for obvious reasons. They have livestock and things like that. But uh, I think this individual took it a little bit too far. You know what I mean? And many believe he should have been charged or fined even more, possible jail time, that sort of thing. But if you haven't heard of it, guys, if you haven't heard the story, I'm sure it's still on YouTube. You can probably Google it and read about it if you want. Anyhow, that's what's on my mind this morning as I walk. I hope everyone's having a great day. Get outside, folks. Get outside and move, exercise. You know, go for a hike. Go for a walk, go for a hike, go for a climb. Just enjoy the great outdoors wherever you're at. Take care, folks. Thanks again for listening. Thanks again for subscribing. And I hope everyone has a great day.